I'm gonna show you how you can make your VST guitar plugin sound much better just by using a tape machine by SoftTube and Native Instrument Guitar Rig 6. Welcome to Music Noir. If you have not subscribed to this channel, hit the subscription button right now and turn on the notification bell beside it. Let's go. Okay, let me show you what I have here. I'm going to disable the plugins right now and then we'll listen to the original track to see where we start from. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry. I have the wrong track. The guitar on its own is not bad. It's a nice sounding guitar, you know. I like the the arrangement too. It has this um this lively, happy mood to it and you know, it's always about making it sound much better. So, uh I'm going to solo the guitar and we'll listen to it without the plugins and then with the plugins. I applied it I applied some delay and a little bit of compression from inside the plugins. If you're familiar with the Ampu Guitar AWG2, it comes with some it comes with some nice effect some nice effects that you can use to you know tighten things up a little. Okay, let's see what's happening inside Guitar Rig. Uh this is Guitar Rig 6. Also, the other plugin I mentioned is tape by soft tube. So I'm gonna mute the tape machine now. And I have one other plugin to widen it a little, the S1 Imager by Waves, just here. So I'm going to show you how I applied all these things. I'll mute all of them, leaving only the guitar rig. So let's go. Starting with the first component here, there's a room reverb here. Let's uh, turn it on as we play. This is the size of the room, you can make it bigger. Let's turn up the mix to hear what's happening there. It all depends on, on, on what you want to hear, how you want it to blend with the music. So, you can make it very big. Uh, let's see. You can hear that. It's not bad at all. Uh, let me play the music with it. reduce the size of the room it's kind of too low but we're going to add some compression and then a little bit of gain also mm. 
you can see just this one plugin and you know I, I love what I'm hearing already so let's add some compression here I'll show you the compression I'll show you the compression settings that I'm using here it's just uh, it's just about you listening to what's happening in the performance and you know you try to balance balance things up so let's play Let's go harder. That's really hard. You can hear that click at the beginning. Let's reduce the attack to it's acting faster now because of the faster attack I applied. But I want to hear the click, although not that much. You know, so reduce this to raise the threshold a little. Um, so. The ratio I'm using here is four to one. I think four to one is is very nice for for guitars, especially with this kind of guitar. So. You might go 8 to 1 if you have uh, something that is much more dynamic. Okay, let's see the release. I think the release should be fine, just like this. I'll drop the room a little. The room is kind of... Uh, because it's... Uh, there's, there's a lot going on in the guitar performance and I don't want it clouding uh, some of the delays I'll be applying on the vocals and especially the lead vocals and a couple of other instruments. So I don't, I'll reduce the size of the room a little and let's listen. Raise the mix a little. I think that should be fine. So, to the last one here, it's a reverb and a delay plugin. Rom Airy, that's what it's called. Rom Airy. Is it Rom or Rom? Or Raum? Whatever. Okay, so I'll turn, I'll turn down the mix and uh, we'll start from the dry signal up to 100% on the mix, I think. I'm going up. Oh, it's off, sorry. Okay, let's adjust drop the room size on the octave verb a little i just want i just want to hear what's going on inside here so. yeah that's that's way too much so let's balance everything it has to everything has to be uh in the right proportion uh, let's play the so here you have the room size uh, the decay damp whatever just like your regular reverb so I don't have to go through all that I believe you have an idea of what a reverb plugin is like and this is the delay setting you can choose the time here straight dotted triplet whichever one you want and then the feedback is right under it and freeze as for the reverb so i, I just believe you have uh, some basic knowledge of reverbs and plugins uh, sorry reverbs and delays you can just load it up on your guitar rig 6 and you know apply the same settings and you know do some tweaking from there we started from here And 
then uh, we're here. There's so much room to eat and uh, the delays are much smoother. So we're going to make everything even much more smoother with this tape plug-in here by soft tube. Let's see how that is going to happen. I'll load it. Let's solo to listen to what's going on here. This is a really nice tape plugin. I've used I've used a lot of tape plugins, but this is actually one of the best. I've used a lot of them. The one the, the one from Over Overloud, Waves, uh, Slay Digital. This sounds quite different. I have to be honest. This is different to everything I've heard in in tape tape plugins you know it's it's kind of uh, it's smoother and uh, it really sounds sounds nice you should try it out and it's also very light on your CPU so it's you don't have to worry about um, the, the load on the CPU so let's listen I just changed the, the tape so so this a b and c are the different tape types that you can choose okay i'll reduce the mix on the rom a little because of those delay Here is the amount of saturation. I'll turn it all the way up. And here is the tape speed here. You can make it faster. And of course, when you make it faster, the 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 high frequencies are much more defined. And so at the end it's gonna sound much smoother. Let's go for the speed. You can go lower if you want. Uh, that's too slow for me. Let's see. There are some other settings here that you can, although I'm not doing anything here, it's just the way it is. You can apply noise, uh, filtering, just to cut out some high frequency or low frequency a little bit inside here. Or you can do some tape stops. So let's go back. I'll play with the music again. The sound is big enough right now, but I still want it to be bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a stereo widener because I want it to um, to be kind of closer to to the size of the speakers, you know, really wide. So I'll bring in the S1 Imager by Waves. Uh, let's go back. Uh, rather, let me play it and. Play with the plugin a little. See the difference? Oh. I just want a little of that, not too much.
apart from trying to widen the guitar, it also makes it blend with the other instrument. That's one of the reasons I'm applying this plugin, you know, because I want everything to really blend well. We started from here. And now we're here. Let's see. Yeah. You can see it's so easy to use. Let me just go through it again from the beginning with the guitar rig six. I started with a room reverb and then uh applied the compression and the delay with more reverb. Then I applied some saturation with this tape machine just a little bit to make it sound smoother. And then uh and then this stereo imager by waves. You can see it's a very simple process. Like I always tell you, the performance has to be very nice in the first place. Then whatever mix you, you do on it is going to come out very good. You know? But if the performance is really horrible, there's nothing you can do about it. No matter how expensive your, your gears are, no matter how expensive the plugins are, or no matter how nice sounding they are, there's nothing good you can, you can bring out from a bad performance. I'm going to play the music with the lead vocal now and we'll have a feel of, of it. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. If you think this video has been helpful, please give a like. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do that right now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything on this channel. See you next time. Thank you.